All right, Earth Signs, how you guys doing today? Welcome in. This is a weekend reading for you. Whoopsie daisy. This is a weekend reading for you, Capricorn, Taurus, and Virgo. Let's see what's going on for you. Feel free to swap around the characters. As always, I could be talking to a cross watcher. So please just take what resonates and leave what doesn't. In the extended, I'll pull uh, individual Zodiac reading cards for Capricorn, Taurus, and Virgo. All right, so let's see where we go. This is the energy part of the reading for Earth signs. Let's see what's happening here, please. All right, keep shuffling. Keep shuffling. One more? Okay, one more. All right. <laughs> I'm just a conduit here. Let's see. All right, fulfill your destiny as a cosmic change maker. There are no wrong turns. I feel like this, I know this showed up for Capricorn uh, for your uh, monthly reading. All right. I know that because that's on the thumbnail. <laughs> Galactic grandmother. Um, you're definitely getting some guidance. Uh, I feel like some of you reject it. Reject guidance from, I don't know, ancestors, or maybe you just feel like that's not who you are, but I, I feel like you're being asked to step into who you are more, more than you have been. Um, your galactic Pachamama is like, hey, let's go. Don't worry about making mistakes. Don't let the per don't let perfect get in the way of the good. There's some procrastination here even, or like uh, it's just it's just a you know a. Like, oh, am I really being asked to do this? Is this really important for me to do? Uh, I'm going to ask you to increase your meditation practice or increase your prayer practice or whatever you do, because there's a new, a new way of connecting or a new way of getting to your intuition that you might need to practice. Okay, it might not be uh, beginner's luck. You know, when you first start, like I remember in high school, first starting to, I played, you know, different kind, different sports and everything in it. I'm pretty athletic. So in the beginning, it's like easy because you're just like, oh, I'm using my natural ability. But then after a while, you really need to learn some of the finer points of the game. You need to learn the strategy. You need to learn how to play with the other teammates. And so it's another level, right? You can't just rely on beginner's luck anymore. And that's what's happening here. Eight of Swords... The ace, ace of Cups, a very needy puppy here right now today. It's okay, baby. Hanged man. Yeah, right. Look at this. Eight of Cups and then the Ace of Pentacles. Big transformation happening here. Wow. Okay. So at first, you might not have seen <laughs> the angel or your guides or anything like that. At first, you might not have even really noticed this. Um and this might be what's unfolding now, that you're being asked to surrender to the path, surrender more to you, who you are in this life. And there's been some resistance around that. So now what we're doing here is Ace of Pentacles and the Death card. So really overcoming uh, our resistance um, to the path or resistance to our gifts, resistance to our connection to spirit. Okay, really resisting that. Let's see. All right, Ace of Swords. Look at all the Aces here you're getting. Ace of Swords, Three of Swords, Queen of Wands, Ten of Swords. I can understand why. Look at that. Six of Wands and the six and the Seven of Cups, Nine of Swords, King of Swords, Nine of Pentacles. It's possible that. We talk a lot about other people in our lives being teachers for us, even though they don't really know it. Okay. And so you might have gone down a road with someone assuming this is a love relationship and it's really something else. They're here to be um, your teacher or you're here to be their teacher. I feel like this has caused some confusion for you because you just certainly expected this relationship to be what you started out to be to each other. If you started out on a friendship role, you just expected it to stay there or, or become, no, 
you just expect it to stay there. And I think, um, I think that's shifting. So what might have happened is that friend or that, that friend kind of, uh, betrayed you. Um, if you wanted to, if you wanted to continue on the same track with somebody, they hurt you, they betrayed you. They did something that was very, uh, obviously hurtful and it taught you something. Okay. But you might be in the place of like, Oh, never again. Okay. Never again. Am I going down that road? I'm not doing that anymore. I can see that that's not for me. That wasn't the point of the lesson. The point of the lesson was to shift you in your thinking about what's possible. Um, to not take that to heart as well, if you understand that, oh my goodness, well, I really kind of tried to make, not make us, but I, I just kind of set a frame around this relationship that it's this particular thing. And I think spirit's trying to say to you, there's so much more. Now, it doesn't mean that this person is the love of your life and you started out just to be buddies or friends or coworkers or boss or you know, whatever ships passing in the night or someone who's a friend who would stick around for a while. It's just that now it's shifting into something. And I think it's teaching you number one, what you do and what you don't want. But number two, it's teaching you the self-confidence to be, uh, open to let's be open to the next thing. Let's be open to what this is becoming because look at this ace of cups. You might not have seen that. And then you had to surrender to it. And then really surrender to it with the death card. We've got the uh, Scorpio. Scorpio, Aquarius, Sagittarius. This could be happening in the next six weeks that there's somebody who, um, who you think it's kind of like, yeah, I'm being myself. I'm doing what I'm here to do. I'm, you know, being very much on my path. Why did this happen? Why did I get hurt or betrayed by this person? I think you don't know. I think right now you don't know. And if this is happening in the future, just be mindful that the, the, the antidote to just feeling like betrayed and down and, oh my goodness, I'm so hurt by this person. I can't even function. Um, instead, ask the question. Remove yourself from the pain of it. Unhook the key to the key to the future. Now, the key to where we're going in this lifetime is to unhook from feelings that keep us trapped in the past. And let's call them wisdom. They become wisdom then because they're not painful to look at or utilize or embody. They become wisdom. That means that in the future we have an awareness around a, uh, a person who comes into our life, a brand new person, people in our lives, and we may look at them all now and go, okay, who are you to me now? Who are you to me now? Like, is it different than what it used to be? It might be, and it's okay. I think some of you get really freaked out by this, but in fact, it is your intuition saying to you, hey, things are shifting and changing, and this is what it looks like in the 3D experience. What it looks like in our life is that all of a sudden people are different to us. Like think about your parents, your mom and dad growing up had a play, played a certain role for you in your teens. They played another role, whatever that might be in your twenties and thirties, they played a, a wholly different role, right? And if they're still around for you, hopefully, and you have a good relationship or you have a relationship, what is it now? And instead of staying in the past in your in any kind of hurt or blame or anything like that from the past, like maybe the the role in the teens was, you know, not good for you. Maybe it was really hurtful or you felt it was um, challenging. Childhood, same thing. You really got to unhook from this is what shadow work and this is what um healing work is all about, you're unhooking from the pain of it because that's keeping you in the past. When you unhook from the past, you're able to then use that information for the future. That's called growth. 
okay? And so now you are doing that. There can be someone, the reason this is coming up now is there is someone coming in who you may be confused about who they are to you. And so there are no wrong turns, right? There are no wrong turns. And if this, this can also be you, you think you're this person in this life. What if you were to just open up your mind about, oh, wait a second, I'm not who I thought I was at this time in my life. I, I was that person when I was 24 or when I was 35, but now I'm 42 and now I'm 56. This is the person you are now. Can you see that all of those people who you used to be contribute to who this person is becoming? And now there's a new role for this person. And I feel like you are transforming and fulfilling your destiny as a cosmic change maker. So let's see where this goes. You might be dealing with an Aquarius, uh, a Sag, or a Scorpio. But this is really about you. Who are you becoming? Let's find out. All right. Earth sign. Link is below for you. I will pull cards for Capricorn, Taurus, and Virgo as well. Uh, and I'll see you over there. All right. I hope you enjoyed that video. If it was helpful to you, please consider liking this video and sharing it with anybody who might have a need for similar kind of information. And if you like this video, check out these videos.